Hello Commanders and welcome to this video for Infinite Lagrange. Today we will talk about the Callisto um, because the Callisto is, I think, yeah, I can say it, it is my favorite cruiser. The Chimera, I got it new and it is amazing. There are more really, really good and amazing cruisers outside. But the Callisto was one of my first cruisers that I got and it has a very very good role to play in a lot of fleet setups before we go there i'm pretty sure all of you are curious who's going to win the raffle so let's start with this for this i go here to the overview of the channel in the last seven days as you can see the most viewed video was the video with the raffles so um as we see this, we now will go directly to the yeah YouTube raffler that I have here. Um, I already put the link inside here and let's see who's going to be the winner. We will get all the comments. We have 14 comments on that um, video and let's see who will be the lucky winner of the $50 raffle. So it's Remy. He commented, great video. I love raffles. Congratulations, Remy. You won. Um, please contact me in Discord or give me a comment here on um, one of the videos because I'm not sure how else I will be able to find you. So um, please contact me that we can arrange giving you the $50 that you won in that raffle. And now let's go back into the Callisto asset um, one of my favorite or if not my favorite cruiser I only have the torpedo type version um, but that doesn't matter even the base version of this ship is already amazing what do we have we do have here a back row ship against ships with torpedoes Meaning we have to work against the armor. Our main um, weapon system is the super cluster torpedo set, the supernova, sorry, the supernova white MK cluster torpedo set with um, attack priority of battleships, carriers, um, battle cruisers, cruisers. We will therefore start trying to target the big things first there's also an air defense starting then with six corvettes and fighters both are on um, six sixth attack priority what else do we have the weapon can crit so the base weapon can already crit this is very very important to note we do have a base damage of 350 which is really good and um, the anti-aircraft range is only protecting the ship itself so if you want to attack corvettes or fighters you will need to have them attacking the ship as that we are back row the secondary weapon that we do have the generic system not really the most interesting one it's just a defensive anti-aircraft so if we talk about damage you can already see it here 1000 ship to ship damage um, from a total of 15,000 unskilled there's not really so much coming from. So if we want to increase the damage, if we want to get the maximum out of the Callisto, we will have to skill the cluster torpedo set. Um, the combat role of this ship for sure is it's a back row ship. It's a DPS ship. It's there to make damage. It's not there to take damage. Um, if you have enough points, you can put some points into the armor. It will not increase your damage, as we all know. We don't have anything that would increase our resistance for energy damage. That's important to note. We do not have any additional evade um, options there. So this is a pure damage ship. So where does this leave us? Which are really the best skills with or system enhancements we can get? Um, really good, the heavy armor, no question, if you attack a cruiser. The problem is, if you don't attack cruisers, it's not getting so good anymore. Now keep in mind, we usually start scanning the front row, then the middle, then the back row. This will mean... We will very likely not attack carriers from the beginning on because most carriers are in middle or back row. All of them, to be honest. Um, what do we have in the front row? 
we do not target frigates and we do not target um, destroyers meaning everything that is a cruiser or bigger in the front row will be targeted now it is difficult to make um, fleets with a lot of big ships meaning all battle cruisers or all um, um, carriers or the combination of these because our command points are so limited therefore most fleets i see most fleets i fight they do have quite a big number of cruisers in the front and middle row and if you see the same thing then it absolutely makes sense to use heavy ammo if you see your fights the front row the middle row there are no cruisers um, you find enemies without any cruisers in the front and middle row then don't take this so this is a little bit situational but um, i think you get the idea next thing that is really really strong as always is the weapon cooldown the weapon cooldown there we have it is a total of 15 percent um, usually it always makes sense to take this after this it's getting interesting again because we have so many really really good and strong skills here they are very very close together all of them the additional damage is great because it's not only giving us 10 percent but it also increases the maximum damage our torpedoes do so we have more damage left over versus high armor targets therefore usually you do get more than a 10 percent damage boost using these skills the other thing we have is a hit rate five times three this is a 15 percent increase in hit rate and the base hit rate of the callisto is already low enough that you will always benefit of this so we also have over 10 percent increase the last thing we have is the chance um sorry no we have two more things um let's go with the crit rate the crit rate is also very strong we do have a base chance of um let me think um 15 percent to crit and um, the base crit damage is 170 percent so adding two times 80 percent is really making a big big difference all of these give you slightly above 10 percent and therefore um it's a little bit depending on the situation if you fight mostly high armored targets and you say maybe hey i don't need to use the strategy because most of my opponents front row are um defensive st 59 or um are spears then you would go for sure for the increased torpedo damage to compensate a little bit against the really really high armor if you see a lot of um cruisers there you go with a strategy and um, then i would also recommend you to take the crit damage and the hit rate hit rate before so first thing i would go for is the hit rate second thing i would go for then is the crit damage and last thing would be the increased damage if as i said if you fight mostly battle cruisers spears or st-59 you don't take the strategy you go directly for the increased damage um, for the torpedoes and you will go also for the hit rate now we can start arguing does it make sense to use the callisto if you have such kinds of um, ships in the front row always that's a different topic but it always depends what ships you have what can you choose from which options are available for you so for me i do see a lot i really say a lot of cruisers in my enemy fleets therefore i go for the heavy ammo and um, next thing is i will go for the crit now you will see i'm already running out but i will get the second crit we have it here after this i am going to increase the hit rate more so i have two times hit rate i have two times crit and i do have the weapon cooldown i do have the strategy the good thing is we do have a lot of weapon enhancements we can put into this so we still can get um, the additional crit rate here and one 
of the increased damages. So that is what I am going to do. I do not take the chance of all torpedoes being intercepted um, is getting reduced because that is very, very situational. Same thing there. If you see that there's a lot of ships that have the chance to intercept torpedoes and you always um, encounter these, then it makes sense. But for most cases, I would recommend ignore the reduced chance of torpedo interception go either for all the enhancements and um, skip the heavy ammo type or if you encounter a lot of cruisers take the heavy ammo type and only take one of the torpedo damage um, skills and that's really the great thing about the callisto you can put so many enhancements inside there and it is getting really really strong so we can already see i increased the damage by 10 percent i did not yet um increase the weapon here as said before in the video you always always should do this and um, then always check what options do you have what enemies do you face it doesn't make sense um, to use certain ships versus certain enemies so if you see the callisto does not work against the enemies you are facing then go for a different ship maybe you go for corvettes for fighters maybe you go for energy weapons um, that always depends but as i said i do love the callisto i do see a lot of cruisers in my enemy fleets um, early on we will see cas 066 um, in the pirate fleets we have a lot of basic um, cruisers they will just melt away under the callisto it is really amazing how much damage the callisto can put out against enemy cruisers so that's it for today i hope you liked the video i hope you enjoyed the raffle i will see that i do another one maybe end of the week maybe next week um, we will see how that works out and um, as always give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and then I'll see you on the next video again.